Hello students, I am Dr. Tanumai Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ in front of you. I request you student, please read the question carefully, pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with some words explaining your answer. And don't worry, after some time you will get the right answer with explanation. And by the way, please remember one statement, self-evaluation is essential for improvement and that is the reason that you should try this by yourself first. Now, so I believe you have tried by yourself. Now it's my turn to give you the right answer. First, look at the problem student where the reaction could be possible. There are two functional group present in the molecule. First is this peroxide linkage and another is TIPS, this silyl protection of this alcohol, triisopropyl saline. Tris isopropyl saline, you may consider protection of alcohol. This is a bulky protection. Now, and second reagent is palladium, charcoal and hydrogen. So from this thing you can understand this reagent is actually reducing. Okay. And this uh, peroxide if you look at this is oxidizing. So from that you can conclude easily that okay oxidizing and dissolving together so they will react efficiently and they will do something else. Yes obviously it is. So let us learn the mechanism. So, Actually, if you look at the epoxide molecule, they are reactive because the oxygen in this epoxide is in minus oxidation state. And by the way, this epoxide is actually an organic epoxide because the two oxygen are attached to carbon atom. Fine. So, this is organic epoxide and by the way, I have already discussed dedicated lecture on epoxide means why epoxides are so much reactive. And second, I have already discussed about this hydrogen and palladium charcoal. This is actually an hydrogenation catalyst reducing agent or you can consider this is an heterogeneous catalyst. So, what happens first? This hydrogen got adsorbed on palladium charcoal. This palladium charcoal student is an heterogeneous catalyst means palladium is distributed over this charcoal bed. So, you may consider these dots are palladium means palladium 0. Okay. So, they react with hydrogen and activate the hydrogen they form this hydride derivative later on these hydride act as reducing agent actually palladium not palladium is the catalyst hydrogen is actually the reducing agent that is activated by the palladium atom. So, in this way this hydride and this hydride reduces the peroxide question why this peroxide or oxygen oxygen this bond got cleaved this is because student these lone pairs on this adjacent oxygen have a severe repulsion because this lone pair lone pair means electron density repels electron density and this thing has a term name that is alpha effect and because of this these peroxides are reactive point number one and second as i told the oxidation state so because of these two factors these peroxides are reactive and they cleaved and produce this two diol okay now how many numbers of carbon chain or like this is if I say this is 1, 2, 3, this is 1, 3 diol. Why? Because it is a 5 member ring. So, if you take 6 member ring then 1, 4. So, in this way diol will be produced and over during this reaction this silyl oxygen means silyl ether protection will remain intact because this hydrogen cannot react with silicon oxygen bond. They are pretty strong as well as this is bulky. So, this is the answer. So, so if you look at what is the answer? answer is option b okay why not the other or if this question is given to you less than 30 seconds how can you solve so first of all why not other because you need to understand that this palladium charcoal and hydrogen reducing peroxide oxidizing and the oxygen oxygen bond is the most reactive so it will break and it will break both side hydrogen will be attached oh oh similar nothing else which option is there obviously b so in this way less than 30 seconds you can answer now here the silyl protection gone not possible here if you look at the silyl oxygen this part gone student not possible and the third one it is a diol but where the silane not possible. So A, B, C and D not possible option B is the right answer. So in conclusion what you have learned today that peroxides are relatively less stable due to lone pair lone pair repulsion which is called alpha effect palladium charcoal is an heterogeneous catalyst which activates hydrogen for further reduction. Silyl protection cannot be removed under normal workup condition because this in this case the condition is ethyl acetate room temperature 48 hours not possible. If you want to break this silyl protection what do you need? You need fluoride ion 
or base or acid okay so in these three ways this lyelizer protection could be done and cyclic peroxide are reduced um, are uh, reduced to produce palladium by palladium hydrogen to produce this diol okay and finally peroxides are oxidizing and palladium hydrogen is reducing agent so that reaction happens smoothly so this is the end of this discussion i believe this video may be useful please write your opinion in the comment box and if you think my channel is worthy please help this channel to grow and if possible please support my another channel climate and chemistry so thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye